Stop recording. Stop recording. Button. Well, hello there. A small video from the Target World podcast on the new film of Tolkien, comma. Well, this is a very interesting film. It deals with the whole life of Tolkien up to when he invents the Hobbit book in Oxford. It deals with his sort of getting into uh, more than Exeter College and how he did this, you know, being nearly sent down at Exeter College and with his own luck being picked up by Professor Fry, played by the great Derek Jacobi, very well. It's with a beautiful score by Thomas Newman all the way through it. And you uh, get to see the relationship between him and Edith, who's played by Phil Collins, his daughter, who's in everything at the moment. Very, very good. And yeah, it's got a great score. It's very charming. It's quite short. That was the only thing I had problems with. It deals with all the stuff in the trenches, which is fabulously shot on Thomas Newman's music. It makes you feel very eerie. There are great bits of where you see the fantasy, the magic. You see how he created Smarg, the dragon from the mustard clouds. And um, also the bits later, you know, where we have the whole bits in Mordor, where Gollum takes Frodo and uh, and Sam, who, interestingly, Sam was his Batman in the First World War. So I think that's where he got the inspiration for that character from. And you see the whole of Mordor in the sort of trenches. And they're beautifully shot and they look disgusting. You know, there's shots of rats crawling about and there's dead bodies everywhere it's not those bits are not for the faint heart it's where the whole trench warfare and the quality sound at the extra picture house which now has a audio description in every screen so it's well worth going to the cinema now if you live in extra the great picture house has audio description on every screen they have so it's brilliant and also on their website it says you don't have to keep asking people it's all there for you but um anyway yeah tolkien is a really good film it does feel a little bit like a bbc drama though so it might have been better on tv maybe but with a good screen and good sound it's lovely the bits in the trench warfare are fabulously intermixed with sort of fantasy and myth and uh how tolkien comes up with his own language elvis which of course is based on finnish and norwegian and the sort of whole problems he had with falling in love with uh edith um i may also mention what the uh part of his original inkling set who become obviously inklings later what his original set of friends uh christopher is played by the great Ty Tennant and he's an extremely good actor you can sound, sort of see little bits of his dad in his acting but I think he's going to be a talent for the future personally so yeah it's um, a really good film it deals with all the bits of Tolkien mythology you like if you're a big Tolkien fan like I am and yeah I, I'd give it a five star review it's it's very good it's got great mise-en-scene from the sort of time period of that period and you know, lots of nice music it looks beautiful and stunning so yeah if you're a big Tolkien fan or even if you're not a Tolkien fan I think you'd get enjoyment from it so yeah um, Nicola Holtz you know, I mean he's the guy who plays Tolkien is very good um, I just can't remember her name. It's got Phil Collins' daughter, Lily Collins, that's what I'm trying to think of, is uh, very good as Edith. It has a full round cast. I particularly like Derek Jacobi as uh, Tolkien's professor. So, yeah, it's very enjoyable and well worth going to spend your money on at the Picture House.